Hi everyone, this is Teacher Chain of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Music! Kung saan pag-usapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagha! In our previous video, we discussed about the physical features of Luzon. Today, ipagpapatuloy lang natin ang discussion about the physical features of the Philippines focusing on Visayas. There are six Visayan islands. These islands have different surface features. The six Visayan islands are Panay, Negros, Cebu, Bohol, Leyte, and Samar. Let's start by discussing Panay. Panay is composed of the provinces of Aklan, Antique, Capiz, and Iloilo. It has three distinct surface features. Panay is composed of western uplands, central lowlands, and eastern uplands. Basically, Panay has a variety of uplands and lowlands. Next, Negros, which is composed of the provinces of Negros Occidental and Negros Oriental, has the following surface features. It is filled with volcanoes and fertile plains located at the north and northwestern regions. Our next main Visayan island is Cebu. Cebu has a mountain range that extends throughout the entire length of its elongated island. For example, you can see the mountains including Osmeña's Peak. Another Visayan island is Bohol. Bohol has relatively flat highland extending in the northeast to southwest direction. Aside from that, Bohol also houses the famous Chocolate Hills. The Chocolate Hills of Bohol are composed of sedimentary rocks. Our fifth Visayan island is Leyte. Leyte has a mountainous interior extending from the north to the south coast. It also has extensive coastal plains at the eastern and western sides of the island. For example, you can see the Limasawa Island in the picture. It is a famous tourist spot in Leyte. Lastly, we have Samar. Samar has many hills ranging from 300 to 800 meters in elevation. There are no wide level lands in the interior and there are only a few coastal lowlands. Let's have another trivia! Did you know that the chocolate hills are not always chocolatey or brown in color? The chocolate hills of Bohol are actually grass-covered dome-shaped mounds. Many of them are as high as 145 meters. What makes these mounds look like chocolates? During summer, the grass that covers them dries up and turns chocolate brown. If the weather is not hot, these chocolate hills become green in color. Hence, they are not always chocolatey brown all year. If the weather permits, they turn luscious green. There are about 1,200 of them spread over 47 square kilometers of land. 
before we wrap up this Chancha Amazing episode, let's have a quick recap of our lesson for today. In today's Chancha Amazing video, we discussed about the physical features of the Philippines focusing on Visayas. We discussed about Visayas, the six major Visayan islands, and learned more about the famous Chocolate Hills. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. We hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!